Hello, my name is Soren. I'm the creator of the Experts theme. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the block and show some of the different layouts you can make. So, we'll start by adding a new blog post, and this time we'll set a featured image. So, I'm just going to copy and paste over some content and set a featured image. You could also add a custom sidebar or choose it from here. You can create it in the theme options, but I'll show you in another video. So let's update the page and this is how it looks with the image. You could also take the first paragraph, for example, and paste it into the post intro teaser box and this text would show above the image. So it's a great little teaser. Yeah. Um also you could add a this is this is not exclusive for the expert theme, it's a WordPress functionality, but you could insert a read more tag as well if you you didn't want all the text to show. So you get this button. Yeah, this is inside the theme options. This is the block options you have. So you could put the sidebar at the left or you could choose to remove the sidebars completely. It's really up to you, but it's as you can see very easy to do. You could also choose to show post excerpts instead of instead of the full post look and it would look like this and next I'll show you the featured post uh, functionality so go to visibility and stick stick the post make the post sticky it's called I'm just going to activate a draft I had already created so you can see how it would look if you had two sticky posts, for example. Yeah, it would look like this and as you can see this changes and you could do this manually or you could just do it automatically. Yeah. I'm just going to remove these again. Next up is the uh, the featured boxes I've added. I've added three featured boxes at the top of the block. So if you have some some great products or offers and or email signups you want there, you can put it there. Um, I'm just going to show you first with some text in it. Yeah, it's these these boxes. You could also wrap them around in a uh, with a panel around them and it would look something like yeah this. Or you could choose to just upload an image and it's really easy using this editor so I'm just going to copy and paste the image three times just so it just for demonstration purposes so so hopefully hopefully you get an idea of what you can do with this and besides the boxes well you could you could also have a image slider with a caption for each image. So choose an image and enter a caption for the image. Click add and we'll make another one. Click save and let's update the site. So now you have an image slider at the top above your blog posts.
You could also choose instead of an image slider to add a content slider, but it's really important that you don't use the heading 3 at this point in version 1. Uh, 0 019 at least, so don't use it. Un as long as this message is here, don't use it. Um, yeah, we could enter some text and make a heading and some some bullets. I'm just going to add it. And I'm just going to quickly add another one. Whoops, looked like I clicked twice. Just click click once. <laughs> But it would look something like this. Again, the last thing I want to show is that you can you can activate or deactivate these elements. The navigation is probably the most useful. I, I think you want to leave the rest of the elements enabled, but some of you might not like the secondary navigation, so you can remove it from here. This was really what I wanted to show you with the blog. If you have further questions, just shoot me a mail or ask me in the forums.